Well, this uh, planter that we use to plant our pumpkins and squash is a highly customized planter set up on 45 inch rows. That's what I prefer. Uh, we do change the spacing within the row depending on the varieties we're using. Um, so it has, you know, a lot of your standard no-till uh, equipment on it, a uh, row cleaners and closing wheels and heat and seed firmer and all. Uh, but the real key that I just added here this year was the Peckway residue slicer. And that uses two gauge wheels that actually lead a straight bladed colder. So these two gauge wheels, when you uh, put the planter in the ground, they are actually holding down the, the cover crop residue. So when the gauge wheel, excuse me, when the the uh, uh, straight bladed colder slices the, res the, the cover crop, it, the gauge wheels hold it in place and it makes a cleaner cut. It, it literally holds it in place, kind of like a scissor effect, if you will. And it does a better job in cutting cover crops that happen to be blown down or what have you. So um, that's a key component to the planter. Uh, be, it's important because we're planting into heavy, we, we want heavy, heavy residue. Uh, when we do this, so that, that residue slicer is, is a key component. You need to have a either 5x7 or 7x7 frame, uh, which most planters, it would require an additional frame to do that. Um, the slicer itself, I don't think there's enough of a room for the slicer and a row cleaner on the same 7x7 frame that a planter unit is usually mounted on. So. On my planter, it's an additional 5x7 frame that's 3 feet in front of the frame that we use for our planting unit. So that would, that would also be a requirement uh, to be able to put this on the planter. I like to use hairy vetch and triticale. And the hairy vetch is uh, very uh, weak in its standability. It uh, climbs up the triticale and then it will almost pull it down if you have you know rain or wind and rain and wind and when that blows down then the triticale stems are difficult to cut through, to cut across. Now I do do rolling and crimping before I plant but there are sometimes certain sections of the field that get blowed down across the, uh, the way I'm planning on planting. So that's where the residue slicers come in, where um, it's blown down. Uh, if it's still standing, if like your uh, triticale, cedar rye, those types of grains, if you're using them as a cover crop, this uh, slicer probably isn't gonna do a whole lot more than a regular colder would do. It's designed for cover crops that are, are, are thick and heavy and blown every which way to be able to cut slice right through them.